Hello and welcome to Arcade Moissa, vlog number three for the restoration of the Doctor Who pinball. Today we're gonna start with the head. I will remove the bolts from each corner in order to have a flat surface and I will strip down and apply my super product, super remover. It's the best remover out there. Almost no sand at all. Uh, of course you wear gloves but it's so instant it, it just does an amazing job so I won't be long before starting the time-lapse and actually starting right now <laughs> It's the first time I'm using this kind of brush because usually I use old brushes that are all full of paint that I never cleaned up very well and uh, the paint is <laughs> the, the stripper is having quite an effect on it I don't think I'm gonna be able to use it for many more usage but anyway this is the kind of brush that costs about 50 cents so you, you, I don't mind throwing that in the garbage when I'm done uh, the product is so fast uh, action maybe only five minutes will be enough until uh, I start scraping it actually when it starts peeling I'm just gonna pull it off like a huge sticker so uh, it's pretty amazing as for the border here I'm not gonna apply any stripper on it I don't want any of the product to uh, get inside the cabinet since it's in pretty good shape I'm just gonna do a fast sanding on it and then afterward I'm gonna use uh, some kind of uh, gloss black on it and uh, I'm gonna get the same the, the the border here as I can see I've already been repainted uh, but I will sand it down anyway because I have some bando job to do on it I'm actually I must mention once again how good shape this head is I only have a few chip in the some corners but that's it uh, that, so that's amazing just want to take a look right now since uh, I'm talking for about two minutes what is going on not yet I may be a bit enthusiastic on the effect of the product you don't have to be too scared to put a lot of it right now I'm working with cracks that have little holes on it and I don't have any socks so I'm living dangerously because a stripper can <laughs> could fall down and fell into a hole of my crocs that's how I I drive on adrenaline Whew. living on the edge oh yeah I'm listening to the radio at the same time yeah I should close that so you, you know that I'm listening to French radio right now just behind me you you can see it right now but I have an art project too because yeah I'm kind of an artist too and I won't show it to you, but the project code for this piece of art is Candy Girl.
here we are. The cabinet is stripped. How old we are? The cabinet. The head. Of the back box. Whatever. <sighs> so I'm going to do some cleaning there because there's some leftover of, uh, of remover here and there. I'm going to sand it. And once it's sanded, I'm going to see exactly where I have to put bondo. I'm just done uh, sanding uh, the cabinet. It's now ready to have some bondo. But before that, I'm going to do a nice cleaning overall inside out in order to have a very clean cabinet to work on. The head is clean and I put some uh, bondo at some places. There's particularly this place where there's a kind of a huge crack that I filled in. Other than that, the, the it was pretty minimal job. So I'm, I'm just gonna wait for this to dry, send it and spray it. <coughs> While waiting for the bondo to dry, I'm on multiple tasks right now. I just put some uh, remover on the bracket. Uh, those are painted uh, in factory, but I always like it when the metal shine uh, everywhere it can. So I'm stripping them. So it's going to look a little bit better when you're going to open the head. I know it's uh, overkill and i just sanded uh, a very little sanding of every bolt and they will be about to be spray painted i started to put a gentle touch of sanding a bit somewhere i realized that this part was just kind of inflated and peeling off so i decided to remove the part of wood that were very putting out and uh, sometimes it's just better to remove the part and just fit it back so you won't have any problem because if I add keep those parts and apply the sticker it's, it will have shown it will have created quite a bomb so while waiting for the drying of that I'm gonna do a big cleaning of the metal plate and that time I will try my best not to chop my finger off like I did the last time Okay, so the goal here was not to actually make it shine like a mirror, but actually remove most of the oxidation that occurs through the years. So uh, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out now. Uh, the surface is uh, dust free. I also removed the old FBI uh, sticker. A repro one will be applied later on. So I'm going to put this one aside for a while and still waiting for the little uh, plastic wood to dry. Okay, so let's work on the back panel. I'm going to remove the old caution sticker and every lead. Uh, like that way I will be able to clean all the little black fumes that occurs through the years. So let's see uh, how it turns out. I'm halfway done with cleaning the backboard, back panel. And I just want to show you the difference it makes. In clear light it's not as obvious, but if you take it from a side you will definitely not notice how white this is coming back compared to this. So I'll share with you happily my little hint and trick to achieve this result is to use magic eraser with 99% uh, uh, volume alcohol. Um, I, I love using 99% just because it has a actually almost no water at all so there's no risk of having water-based material uh, that will get into cracks or stuff like that and could expand the material so um, I'll go on with the rest I'm quite satisfied by the result of the cleaning of the back panel I also took the time to clean the harness real good and the head is finally the bundle is finally dried so I'm ready to Take it out for painting. Okay, so now the bolts have already had their three coats of paint and the head just had its first one applied. I will put at least two more. And yes, I'm overkill. I paint everything on the inside, even everything that will be hidden. Yeah, I know, uh, there's something wrong with me. I just applied a second coat and it really starting to look pretty good. I will apply a third, maybe a four layer eventually. So that's about it for vlog number three. Um, uh, once uh, on the next vlog, I will be reassembling the head, putting back the boards, cleaning the top, but mostly I will be working on the 
Mark Davidson Wobblehead for the Dalek. So uh, I'll get more in details. I will read all this great documentation beforehand in order to be ready for vlog number four. So stay tuned, like, share and subscribe if you like it. See you soon, bye! Mm -hmm.